Bye. Chaz Chowdhury, Pet Talk UK, joined by German teen amateur world kickboxing sensation. She's won it 17 times already and now about to make her pro boxing debut, Miss Sarah Liegman. How are you doing, Sarah? Fine, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Well, it's cold here in the UK. You're not in Germany, are you? You're a German national. But you're sitting in sunny Florida. Yes, I am. And it's pretty hot today. Yeah. In Germany, it's already cold. So when I'm home, back home, I think I will freeze every day. Well, I thought you were getting the sun when you used to train and go to Malta. But yeah. the weather in Malta and the, the weather in Florida, completely different things. Yes, really. It, in... in um, in Malta, it's just hot, but here the humidity, it's uh, much higher and you're always sweating, sweating, sweating everywhere you go. Yeah. Now, Sarah, you and I speak and I was looking forward to you starting university, psychology in Germany, but then yes. you start up in the United States of America. Explain to me what you're doing in the US. So, um, Last year, I went here to um, meet my um, manager, Mark Tuffet, in person, and he recommended me the coach, John David Jackson. He's also Clarissa Shields' coach, and we started to train together, and I fell in love with his uh, style, with his uh, coaching style, his training. So I knew I have to come back to start my career in boxing. I knew I want him as my coach and yes, that's why I came back this year for three months and yes, we trained together and then with Mark Tuffer together, we thought about pro debut and I was totally fine with it. That's everything I ever wanted, a pro debut, a pro career and yeah, now I'm here and I will have my pro debut on the 4th of September. In Omaha? Yes. In, in Omaha. Um, now, Sarah, kickboxing, you beat people up. Boxing, you beat people up. The transition, moving from kickboxing to boxing, how have you found the transition? So at the beginning, it wasn't very easy. So I, I always saw a thought um, that kickboxing and boxing is not really different. So when I when I came from kickboxing, I thought, okay, I can do boxing as well. So where's the problem? But then I started to train and I knew, I realized, oh my God, you have to learn everything again because it's totally different, totally. And yeah, at the beginning, it wasn't very easy because um, you haven't had your kicks, um, the distance is uh, very different and the style of your opponent as well because kickboxers, they, um, they jump, I can say, yeah, they jump um, very much and boxers are more, um, more on the ground with their feet and they move really fast and yeah, it's, it's pretty different. So it was, um, not easy for me, but I kept going at good coaches in Germany. I also trained with the uh, amateur Olympic team. I was also for a few months in the national team in Germany in amateur boxing. And I learned a lot. And yeah, also from John, I learned a lot. And now it's, um, yeah, as I, th as I said, it was a big different um bought for me then at the beginning but now I feel comfortable in boxing and yeah what's John like as a coach now he's a he's a someone that I've always looked up to a world champion when you first walked in started talking to him did a session with him what was it like for you um it was pretty nice for me to 
going with him. I, at, at first, I was, was very nervous with him. Oh my, has achieved so much. He is a big boxer. He's training Clarissa Shields. Why would he train with me? I was so nervous. But then um, as I stepped in the ring with him, um, he, he was so nice to me. He um, told me everything I did wrong. It was um, not that he yelled at me or so. He, he talked to me like in the normal, uh, yeah. When you talk to someone, it was like, really, he was so nice to me. And I knew, oh my God, he's, he's the one for, for this career. Yeah. Now you've also got, I saw on your Insta page and on your social media, I see you bumped into another world champion, the real deal, Evander Holyfield, and he gave you some tips. Tell me about yes. that conversation. How did that happen? What did he say to you? So um, John David Jackson is also training Evander Holyfield at the moment. And um, I asked him if I could, met, uh, could meet him. And yeah, so uh, I watched him training. And first of all, I have to say, it's incredible how a man at his age can be that fit. I was really impressed. And after that, I think he took one hour time to talk to me. He talked to me and talked to me and he told me, you always have to um, believe in yourself. You have to trust in God and you have uh, a beautiful mother at your side. She will always support you. His mother was his, his biggest supporter and his mother, um, he told me without, without his mother, he would never have started boxing and would never be um, at the place he is now. So yeah, he, it, was, it was incredible to meet him and to talk to him and yeah. Now you've also, you're now stable mates with the GWOW, the greatest yes. of all time. Clarissa Shields, have you had a chance to train with her yet or have you just been talking to me? No, um, we met each other at a, an uh, MMA event um, and it was, uh, she came to me and um, talked to me and was so nice. I, I was nervous as well because I thought, oh my God, she, she's a very special person in boxing and um, yeah, but she was also so nice. And yeah, we talked about our coach, um, if I want to try MMA as well, how my boxing is going and yeah. But we haven't had the chance to train because we are in, in different states at the moment. But I think I will be back in America soon. And yeah, so I think we will have the chance to train then together. Well, we wish you the best of luck with your pro debut on the 4th of September. Thank you. Um, if people want to follow the journey, how can they follow the journey? You want your social media handles? So I will post everything on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. It's everywhere. Sarah Leakman, my name, um, nothing special. And yeah, also maybe on YouTube, I will upload some videos. It's also Sarah Leakman. And yeah. Um, anyone you want to give a thank you to? Yes, first of all, I want to thank my mom because my mom supports me with everything. Also my dad, but my dad is not here at the moment. He had to stay in Germany. Um, my mom is always traveling with me all around the world. She never missed one fight. I have 220 fights and she was always there. Uh, so it's, it's crazy. Um, and of course, Mark Tuffett, who made this everything possible. Um, John David Jackson, who trained with me in this camp um, every day, um, he killed me. And yeah, big thank you to uh, Puma. They are supporting me, me with, um, with clothes, with gym outfits. And yeah, I'm very thankful also for some private sponsors. Uh, for example, Hey Aaron. Um, yeah, uh, Marcus Booking, thank you for everything. They support me and um, make this this travel this journey even possible yeah well we're here at pep talk uk we hope this is the first interview of many good luck on the fourth um go do yourself and your family proud thank you i will do this